I didn't even grab the camera. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, guys? First, I didn't grab the case. Then I didn't even have the camera. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not. I'm not ready for this. It's too late. It is too late. My ten o'clock break days are. I'm retired from this. Except for tonight, my thumb is. Oh, I'm. These packs are so hard to open. You're gonna hear me cry and whine and moan for the next two hours, in no particular order. No, it's just uh, I got a, a stand under my bench. It was uh, facing the computer shop. I don't think you can get a nut shot. So that's what we're rolling with, baby. Months in the making, but we have a, a super computer. I don't care about cable management or any of that shit, but that's what we got going on down there. That's what's powering your break, not a stupid fucking cell phone on Instagram. A real goddamn piece of technology. <laughs> Where you can see my ugly ass face and uh, everything else that comes with it. Uh, Dave G, everybody give Dave G a fucking round of applause, please. Welcome in, Dave. Uh, happy birthday-ish. I'm not sure. I, I was busy, you know, I was playing the softball. I was trying to talk to you, though, because I, I try to acknowledge everybody even in the stream somebody said during the break earlier today that some breakers don't talk to their chat at all oh my goodness till the power goes out oh jesus don't be that guy hoffman go turn some hey by the way i'm sending this back to you i beat the cowbell so hard on the last one one i think it was the griffey one 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 of the screws fell out and i hit it with the handle too <laughs> so when you <laughs> That really happened. All right, anyway, random, friends. Let's get the randoms done. Uh, oh, sorry. My list of you guys on the wrong screen. Balden bought over half the break. He did a, He came out of John Balden hiding. So we should have 29 spots. We do. Four more times, as always. One, two, three. And for the combo, uh, if you bought a spot early on the random, the combo was wrong on the listing. I had the Twins and the Diamondbacks. It's supposed to be the, the Indians and the Diamondbacks, so we correct it. It's the, same, it's the same random or the combo pairing that we did for Pick Your Team. The Indians have no hits, so I, I never sell teams that have no hits, even in Pick Your Team. They have to combo. Uh, but another breaker told me they pulled a Karen Jack auto. That wasn't on the checklist. So, uh, they may have a hit. He, he said he absolutely... I didn't ask him for proof, you know. I, I believe the guy. Uh, that was a great cowbell. I beat the shit out of that cowbell. That's the hardest I've hit it. I was waiting for it to come off the stand. Because it's in a microphone stand. It's not in, a, in any sort of percussion stand. And it's not even mounted properly. It's literally in between the two rail arms. But it's probably like jammed in there now. And here we go. Dave G, I hope I didn't give you the Rockies, bud. Where are you at? 23. The Red Sox. Hi, Bobby Dahlbeck, Jason, and some old legends with the short prints. Could be worse. Could be better. The Red Sox, actually, they have some good veteran stuff. Should we get crazy to hit some of that type? Those are the stuff that you really can't factor into, like, a price for a break because... Chances of hitting that stuff is not very good. Uh, 393, I'm honest about it, though. I'll tell you if I think, you know what I mean? I'm not here to lie to you and tell you that every case is going to have 20 Carl Yastrzemski's in it. It's just not what we do here. Uh, anyway, keep both of these just in case. Let's go, Sox. That's great. Thanks so much, even though I'm a Yankees fan. Um, I could actually tell you, too. Or you could look on my website. The Red Sox, I think I charge close to a random team price, if not more. So, I mean, at least at least money-wise here, you know, close. Hopefully we do something nice for you, bud. But uh, if you do hear me talking to most of my chat right now is on Facebook. I'm like, uh, I, I became who I became because of Facebook. So, uh, usually there's more Facebook people than anyone in the chats. But I have a all-inclusive chat window, so... Don't feel left out. Chime in whenever you want, bud. Uh, what the heck was I wanting to look at there? I'm not the best Twitter person. I don't need this. Over here. Who, who wants it? See, this is, my stuff just goes bananas sometimes, so I lose a lot of feeds. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. I got to go to the printer, grab the list. Oh, I was going to show you the website. That's what I was going to do.
because since we are live, I do want to ask opinions. You guys can tell me because folks have, uh, I, you guys know I've made no secret. I do not like uh, the new web host that we use, but Shopify won't get another penny from me. So, uh, like on the website, folks have said, hey, we wish we could just get the team and not have to scroll up to see the price. And I really understand that. So anyway, the Red Sox were 75. So technically you're ahead of the game. So that's good. But would you guys prefer me to not put the product information on the listing? Like, I feel like this is important stuff because it helps you uh, learn what's in here. What's in these uh, products, especially something like this. Where Dave G's in this break, and because he knows exactly what we're about to do, which I think is fantastic, because I do love, uh, I do, uh, I do love Gypsy Queen. So I could not put this stuff in, but then you have to scroll. I could put it in, but then you have to scroll. Uh, Dave, if you could find someone to trade with, sure. But I mean, I'm I'm literally going to start the break. <laughs> I am not going to wait around. I, that's the only drawback to using the website and selling on uh, multiple platforms. It was like when I used to just do the Facebook group, we could run a random, give time for trading. But I am like way past my own bedtime right now. So I'm just going to be a whiny little girl for the next hour and a half or so. But with that being said, if someone, uh, if somebody does want to trade with you, uh, I will uh, middleman the chat between uh youtube and facebook if i if i can so the only noticeable thing different about these is the cases that say made in mexico we'll see if that's a thing moving forward uh i noticed that today i don't think the archives were like that but i don't recall uh, looking at them so seals on the case seals on the case We had like, uh, I'd say we averaged somewhere around 30 people watch the first break, which was actually shocking to me because this is not a, it's not a break for, for casual viewers. Usually it's just the folks with the vested interest and I know, uh, Johnny Baldwin's one of his girls is having collarbone surgery tomorrow. She's in a car accident broke her collarbone i guess it's not getting better or something so they have to if anyone is interested in the red Sox, please let me know we got a friend on youtube who's a yankees fan and he got the red Sox in the random so if anybody wants to make a move i am going to be opening things up but please feel free to speak up there are only 13 people total watching at the moment dave just uh, a a informational tidbit of what that's got to make what three on youtube i can see the 10 on the facebook i think can't see all my screens right now it's a problem all right here we go friends i love the chrome toppers but man i miss those glassworks oversized toppers dave what do you think about those because i know you said you like gq what was 18 the last year they did those those are so nice entertainment while at work attaboy steven Steven, what do you do besides your business, bro? Shout out Backyard Wood Turning. Oh, I don't have my box. Damn it. I got, It's recycling and garbage day here, so I was going to take all that out, and then I realized that I need to take all this stuff out when I'm done with it, but my box is over by the stairs. Yes. All right, here we go. Tough pack time. Oh, yeah. Thumb still hurts. Thumb still hurts. I like doll deck. All right, buddy. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm sorry. That is the one drawback. So we're going to get a Jackie Robinson uh it's a high number for sure it is 301 could you technically call this a double variation like a double jackie robinson day you know <laughs> you can't but that would be cool you can't officially cannot cnc machinist there you go my uh father-in-law owns a business that that's all they do it's machine work they got two big ass machines in their little shop. And that's it. And two big ass machines make them a ton of money. So good for them. Mount Castle, Freeman, Diaz. 
Dave, I don't know. Have you ever? I know you're you're new here and you just subscribed, but I don't know if you've ever seen me at all. We're gonna have a Trevor Bauer number to two fifty. I may end up by the end of the night not being your cup of tea. This is also not like the full underground treatment. I have to be quiet. Kids are sleeping. But I really do care about the hobby. I just don't censor myself at all. But there are things I don't tolerate. Like I'm not just an animal. Holy cow. These packs, man. The, the worst packs of the year. By a landslide. Gypsy Queen has won. And also, Dave, sorry, I'm talking to you a lot because you like Gypsy Queen. If you see me miss a variation, because you'll know what you're looking at, just tell me the player, please, and what you thought it might have been. Don't say, hey, what about that card in that last pack? Because the delay, you got to be as specific as you can be if you ask me about something I may have missed. Because I'm only looking for a few key things while I go through these. So. Oh, I love Brett. Hell yeah. Brett's, Brett's like a day one guy for me. Okay, cool. That's perfect. I hate... This is a thing I hate, but I only do it with a select few people. Matt Chapman, way off center, number to 150. Is, uh... I hate being on my YouTube. And... I My only YouTube is my business YouTube. So... I hate getting on other people's channels and talking. I'm like... The view, not not because the person I'm talking to, because usually I'm talking to whoever runs the channel, because I know them. And I'm like, oh, all these viewers are going to think I'm some asshole that's just showing up here to <laughs> spread the word. Number to 99, Luis Arias. But that's only me just showing support to the people that show me support. Because I just, I don't, I don't watch breaks, anything like that. I, I rarely get in breaks anymore. I, I was years on the other side of this camera before I got into the business years ago. Uh, going to check for bazooka backs? Uh, you'll know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they used to flip those over. I don't. We didn't have one in the first case. I'll tell Laura to pay attention when she's sorting them out tomorrow. The packs are already trying to come out of the garbage can. And there's nothing in my garbage can. But I'm not gonna, yeah, I mean, we'll see. The, like, the autographs and stuff are easy to find, but usually they're flipped over. Nothing's flipped over this year that I've seen, so it's actually good, but look at that. There's a mini auto, and then as for the Mets, number to 99. It's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't put the teams on the screen. What you guys let me not do that for? Oh, Mets, 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 John Baldwin. There you go, sir. So there's a mini. I haven't pulled one of these in a while. Uh, I'm not going to put the teams on the screen unless somebody asks. Maybe I'll throw them up at the end because I hate having them on the screen. <sighs> it's just my own thing. Hey, the mini I was talking about yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'd made, I don't know what you are talking about yesterday. But, yeah, that's a mini. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine because it's the same width as a standard card. So this is just a square instead of a rectangle. You can use top loaders for these. And if it really bothered you that badly, you could, you know, get a very sharp knife and clean cut it across the top. And you could make it happen. I'm not telling you to do it. But, but yeah, those are going a regular top loader. But, God, I, I'm not going to be able to do this tonight. For one box in, my thumb already wants to fall off. These are just atrocious. I gotta let the air out of my garbage can. Let me stab some holes in it real quick. Cause it's just, it's not gonna cooperate. I knew this is what I was setting myself up for. Tears. But yeah, these are the the odd shaped cards in this product are easy. You can put everything in a standard top loader. It's maybe not the most ideal thing, but it's, it's not uh, like negligent to do that. I wouldn't say it's negligent. I think I think it's absolutely 100% safe, but they do probably make specific uh, top loaders. Maybe not for the minis. Holy shit! Why tops? Like this break is like punishment. It's not even fun. I love this product, but you have to hurt yourself to open it. 
I mean, look at that forearm. I'm not the most physically in shape dude, but I'm pretty fucking strong. And I have to, like, get after it to open these things up. And I'm not using scissors or a knife. Nobody say that. He just need to open it. They just need to open is what they need to do. There shouldn't have to be a fucking textbook written on how to open a pack of cards. It's pretty self-explanatory. Every rapper on earth. <laughs> Every rapper on earth is very similar. Kirilov. Ruiz, Cameron. Yeah, Big Brett, Cominciole fan. I love what he's doing with his own little channel. Dude's got more subs than me. All I want's a thousand. <laughs> so I can live stream from my mobile when I'm in a pinch. Or when I want to show something cool because it's a better quality than a Facebook live stream. I don't like doing those. Matt Olson, number to 199. Oh, we had Matt Chapman. So we're getting all the A's. Corner infielders. No swear jar in this break. Oh, uh, it'll happen. I, I, am I, am I, I don't, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> am I swearing too much or too little? I, I don't even know what I'm saying. This is here for the fun. Hoping we pull some awesome cards. We still need another auto, yeah? There's only been one auto in here. Alright, where's it at? Where's our other autograph? The people demand their hits. We're up to 20 now. 20 viewers. Hello. Hit the like button if you haven't already. I just want this autograph, friends. And this guy's in every case of every product that's been made this year. Rafael Marchand for the Phillies. Uh, Hoffman, I believe so, but I think it's a super... I mean, any veteran autograph. Let's just... Most products, veteran autographs, are incredibly hard to pull. And then, on top of that, there's tiers of the said veteran autograph. So, like, your Trouts, your Acunas, your Sotos, your Vladdy Juniors, you know, all those guys, Aaron Judge, Chris Bryant, but he really doesn't sign. Those types of guys, the, like, superstar active players... They're the hardest hits to get in any product. Because all the other veterans, all the fucking uh, Yamamoto second year autographs and shit stained turd pitchers that aren't even in the big leagues. Fucking dude from the Rays, Brendan McKay, signing veteran autographs. The dude's not even in the big leagues. Shit like that. That'll be your veteran autograph that comes out 80% of the time. Over when you, you finally get a card that's not a rookie. What did we get to earlier? Luis Arias, and we got the Relic Auto of Pete Alonso. Uh, Brad, no. Phillies, bud. You just hit Marshan. Sorry. So you at least have a Bryce Harper chance. And the Phillies are, uh, in my prices, they were expensive team. The third most expensive team. Uh, because I'm Bohm is doing what most rookies do. And he was the third overall pick. So, yeah, good for them. Uh, yeah, so, Jesus, I gotta do this nine more times, and I'm gonna cry the entire way. I'm so sorry. Kybert Ruiz, we do have gold. Pache and Garrett Cole. Last I checked, he was not coming out of the game. That's what my people tell me. Garrett Cole for the Yankees. The lines in these pictures, this whole entire box of sleeves has this line in every one of them. Beckett sleeves, the worst. I wouldn't be mad at it. They're expensive. It's a top three team uh, per my pricing. I'm sure there's others that would disagree with me, but that's why I make the prices. This one looks like shit. This box, this particular box. It's the sorriest wrap job I've seen by Tops. Out of a factory sealed case. We're going to pause a moment for station identification and a word from our sponsors. I'm going to throw some caffeine down the hatch. See what that does. I wanted to have a Red Bull, but I think it's too late for a Red Bull. 
I'll be up all night doing stuff. If it kicks in. I'm at that point now where the caffeine just doesn't really do anything for me. Alright. I had some caffeine and I was doing deadlifts today. Was it today? Was today leg day? It was like, uh, it was my third set and I could not get my brain to tell me to go. Because usually that's what I do. When I don't want to do something, I just get in my head a little bit. I start talking shit to myself. <laughs> Whatever it takes. And I had a Red Bull, my breakfast, and my pre-workout. I didn't want to finish them deadlifts up. And I, did, I my brain wasn't talking to me today. It was weird. Very weird. I know this is the type of commentary you guys are looking for in a sports card break. So that's why I'm providing it. <laughs> Free of charge. <laughs> Free of charge. I, I couldn't... I'm just like, uh, I'm standing there right up against a bar. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, no. I don't want to. Nolan Arenado for the Cardinals. Number 250. So those got made after the Chrome cards, for sure. Just mean one more break? Well, if, see, here's, here's my thing, and I don't want to bitch. I don't want to bitch at all. Here's my thing. Did you guys see the poll earlier? The random versus pick your team poll? A fucking guy that voted pick your team bought 15 spots in the fucking break that everybody who voted random didn't. Don't vote in my fucking polls if you're not going to follow through. Because then when I don't do what the poll says, people get mad. And that's the prime example. Because I don't know. I'm not bitching about this poll at all. I'm just not going to listen moving forward. Actions speak louder than poll votes. But the the last poll I took, I did the opposite of what people said in the poll, and people got mad at me. They're like, how come you how come you didn't do what we said? Well, a it was a close poll. It was about which product, and b I was doing both cases regardless. So it was just whichever one you wanted first. Like, okay, you don't want this one right now. That's fine. You can have it next. But then. We do the poll today, and it was at one point like 19 to nothing in random team to overpick your team. Jordan Weems, Athletics Monster Hit. I've never seen that ever, where it's just overwhelming. And it ended up being in the 30s to like 10, maybe. No, not even 10. I prefer randoms, but I prefer anything you're breaking. I prefer pick your team on full case breaks and randoms for mixers. I think that's literally the formula. But some some products, pick your team, doesn't equate with the checklist. So some that's a very rare exception. It's very rare that you uh, a new release product, you can't make the numbers match the checklist. In in my opinion, since I I like I said I do you guys know I do all my own pricing. But for the the mixers and stuff, it's definitely random teams is the way to go because it's hard to wait. There would be so much more thought that would need to go into it. You would have to wait each team in each particular product in the mixer and then average it out and then price it accordingly. And it might not make sense. Just to be honest. It might not make sense. So you just do random teams. And then hope you uh, hit big for people. Think you missed a Lube Rock short print. You're probably right. You're absolutely right. That's how you do it. We'll go back and look. I wouldn't. I wouldn't argue with you one bit there. Max Muncy, I got busy talking. I got too busy bitching. Max Muncy, number to ninety nine for the Dodgers. Let's see how far Lou Brock was. Because if he was there, we missed him. That's definitely all the legends in this product are high numbers. Yep, you're 100% right, Dave. And a boy. It's the backward Beckett sleeves on the back end. Dave, have you opened any of these packs this year? Don't do it. <laughs> it's so difficult. They're the hard. They might be the hardest packs of all time. 
because Panini's had some doozies over the years. But these are these are pretty well secure. Black and white, it's Castellani for the Rockies. Number to 50. Colorado Rockies, I don't know. 18, Jonathan Eastridge. Mr. Eastridge. Need more of these lovely Beckett sleeves. Let's see how messed up they are. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. So it's only the top four are in the, the wrong orientation. Hopefully that entire pack is good now. We will see. Done this year. Yeah, these are the worst. Way worse than I've ever. And the cases are new cases. They say made in Mexico on them. And not that I literally don't care about that, but that is literally new. Because the, the UK Tops baseball comes in cool, the coolest cases. And the tape they have overseas, the clear tape, actually has the Tops logo and brand on it. So they use fancier tape across the pond. But in Mexico, apparently they have the best pack, pack sealer this side of uh, the border. I don't know. It's not really the Mississippi. All right. Brent Rooker, rookie autograph. We hit him last case for the Twins as well. Somebody said they saw a case with five autos of the same person. I would do everything in my power to contact Tops if that was the case. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Five autos. And it was a 5, 4, and 3 is what they said. So 12 of their 20 autos were only three different people. That, that just stay in the garbage can. That just sounds terrible. Uh, Daz Cameron. Number to 250. Rookie card for the Tigers. This is not 100% B-Red. Just putting that out there. This isn't my A-game anymore. This is like Michael Jordan playing his flu game right now. That's how big of an ego I have. Uh, Tom, yeah, sorry, buddy. I decided to go with uh, no teams on the screen. You have the twins, sir. So you just hit that Brent Rooker autograph. They have a, a handful of rookies. So rookie-wise, you have options. Boom. We have Evan White for the Mariners. Seattle. Number nine, Carissa. Miss Carissa, you have the Mariners. And that is for you. The packs, man. I was doing the long side... They were working. Now the long side's not working. So now I'm back on the short side trying to rip the packs. And this is a team name variation here. James Caprillion. The Curse of Writing. This is new this year. You're the MJ of Breaking. Oh, you got it. You figured it out. That's it. Let's go. I'm the GOAT. I don't know about that. I don't know that. But yeah, I said it. I said it. That's the only way it ever happens if you say it. Actually, I only say things like that because I was told I was irrelevant by the biggest turd outfit on Facebook. So, I don't even know why, because they didn't like something I said. <laughs> they didn't like a YouTube video I made making fun of fucking 101 jackpots. But, you know... It is what it is. Just let sleeping dogs lie. Something like that. I think that's the saying. I don't know. I may say some just absolutely crazy things before tonight's over. Anthony Rezzo, Yasmani Grandal, and Nate Pearson. We pulled a 101 out of absolute baseball of him the other day in a mixer. Number 150, Nate Pearson. Blue refractor chrome card. Moving on to box number three.
Yeah, I'll do away with the the no helmet on. I, I haven't seen a capless variation. I have not seen a Jackie Robinson Day variation. I do not know if the capless variation is still a thing. I haven't seen a double variation yet either. That's something I've seen plenty of in years past. I haven't seen a logo swap or the logo swaps gone. I should probably read the, the information I put about the entire product. <laughs> Jackie Robinson days, black and white. Mark Fair Fly Up, Parallels, Tarot to Diamond, Sepias, number to 99, Burt Umber, number to 399, that's what they're calling it. Orange is 300. Hobby Exclusive is the black and white, number to 50. I did not know that was Hobby Exclusive. Oh, they have Jackie Robinson Day, Roberto Clemente Day image variations. What would that be? And the Negro League Centennial Celebration image. Oh, these would have to be little obscure patches. And there's a hit for the Pirates, baby. There we go. Key Brian Hayes, Pittsburgh. It's the only rookie people really seem to care about right now, and I don't even know if they're still caring about him. <laughs> Pittsburgh, am I right? Who's got the Pirates? Nicholas Church, congratulations, sir. Base autograph, key Brian Hayes. We do a little cowbell action, but you know, we have to we have to be quiet this time of night. Soroka, Yelich, Tejada, Aaron Nola. The packs are already coming out of the garbage can. What do you even do about that? It's unreal. I have an empty garbage can and the packs just levitate out. Yeah, the cards are great looking. I love them. I love the card stock, the feel, everything. They feel a little more slick than years past, I feel like. I need to go grab some other ones out of a box. Just compare feel. Bigger can. I, it's a respectable size can, bro. It's, n it's nothing to be ashamed of. The can. Marshan, Acuna, oh, black and white Dustin May for the Dodgers, number to fifty. Twenty out of fifty. Hobby exclusive. We just learned that. I looked at my own website. <laughs> the information I'm sharing with you, I don't even know myself. How terrible am I at my job today? Jake Arietta. Oh, so bad. Maybe place. Maybe a lid. Like on a drink, the straw goes. <laughs> That's crazy. I get what you're saying, dude. That's the craziest part. I totally understand the concept you have painted in my head. Isn't that why they just have those garbage cans with the little flippy lid on top, though? And Anderson Tejada, base autograph for the Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers. Jimmy Ori. It's hilarious. I, I feel terrible. John Baldwin's got 15 spots on a break. Everybody else is hitting. Good for you guys. John. Oh, John. Yeah, the, the autos are clean. It's because the cards are clean. It's a good card to actually sign. It's not like Chrome cards are hard. That's, you know, this card stock is uh, a good candidate for 
ink receiving purposes. I'm not a paper doctor though. Just looks like this is the type of cardstock you would want to sign on. Sammy Sosa, baby. There he is. Slamming Sammy. Let's go. Let's go. Anytime Sammy shows up, it's a good day. Yeah, you're right. John got that mini. He's good. John, whenever you watch this, quit your bitching. Just know that. Just know that right out of the gate. Fixyourshit.com Or fixyourshittyattitude.com If you talk to Baldwin websites, he loves you. Jeez, why is that? Michael Jackson. Oh, man, leave Salsa alone. Why, why, why is what, oh, everybody hating on Salsa? David Peterson. Sepia. It is a Sepia, confirmed. It's cool. Number to 99. So what? He said he hated being in the color. He said he did, was uncomfortable in his own skin. I, I'm un, You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't like that that's how he felt. Because I don't want people to feel that way. Uh, obviously, you know, the people will say, but Bran, you're white. You know, okay, I get it. Yeah, I'm white. So... I still feel that way. I don't want somebody to feel uncomfortable being who they are because you don't get to pick what you are when you come out. You know, <laughs> you don't get to pick. So it's unfortunate that like Sammy felt that way and he did that because that's what he he said. It's why he said he did it. But at the same time, he didn't go and cancel the entire world over it either. He just toughened up and did what he needed to do. What he thought he needed to do, and now all he does is get made fun of now. <laughs> So, like, it fucking sucks. The dude does something because he thinks it's going to make him feel better about himself. And now people just shit talk him all day long. <laughs> uh, he's white as fuck. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so what? Leave Sosa alone. Jesus. Dude's not even American. And after 9-11, he ran out onto the field with the flag, hit a home run, ran around the field with our flag. It's not even his flag. I mean, how how how, how do you not just absolutely love that guy? Fucking love Sosa. He's my hero. One of my heroes, I should say. What a good, what a good dude. And he's so stupid that he used cork thinking it was going to help him hit a baseball farther. You can't say he got caught taking steroids because that test was never supposed to be out. So you don't even know if it was a legitimate test. Just my two cents. <laughs> Let's talk Sosa some more. I love that guy. Yeah, you let Bonds in the Hall of Fame too while we're at it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Why are we keeping steroid guys out of the Hall of Fame? Does anybody have a real answer for that? Because if you say because they took steroids, I'm, I'm not going to take you seriously. If that's your argument, you do not know the history of baseball. I, I think is the the argument to make there. If the steroid dudes can't be in the Hall of Fame, there shouldn't be a Hall of Fame. And if I have to explain that to anyone, please just go read a book. Or Google anything about what they did before they did steroids. Because they were always doing something. And I don't think any of it was ever exactly acceptable. Garcia, Singer, Albies, Moustakis. Get back to the cards now. Since I've alienated the entire chat. We have a purple Arenado. This one will go to the Cardinals. So just us Chrome ones have uh, him depicted with the Rockies. So maybe they made the toppers first. It's interesting to try and figure out how they put a product together. Because I don't know. And that would be my assumption based on what I've seen. Is that they made the toppers first before anything else.
Josh Bell. Jazz. Bo Burrows. Is Bo Burrows out for the... I saw a Tigers pitcher is done for the rest of this year and part of next year. And I forget who it was. Because they, they have a ton of young pitching right now. And we have Garcia going to the Yanks. Base auto for New York. Johnny B. There you are, sir. I'd love to have another relic. I wonder if they put more relic autos in the product on the total. On the whole. Because I've hit very few in my days as breaking. And we've hit two in a case in a loose box. And that's just remarkable. Garcia and Marchand are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. There's a few others, but I... It seems every case I've opened in the last two months has had a Marchand auto in it. Even Trinity. <laughs> Even stuff that's like not pro. Or like not the big league stuff. Even the prospect stuff. It's like, dude, go away. He's everywhere at once right now. There we go. Jonathan Arrows. Purple, number two, 150. It's the first purple auto I've pulled. Boston Red Sox, Dave G. That's not Bobby Dahlbeck, man. So I don't even know if this guy's in the big leagues, to be perfectly honest with you. But he might be. I know the name. Uh, 39 out of 150, purple. Indigo. No, that's Indigo's blue. Purple. I don't know if they have a fancy name for purple. Is there a fancy name for purple? Gypsy Queen might, might call it that. You bet, man. My pleasure. My pleasure. Hopefully there's more where that came from. Thomas Hatch, number 2, 150 for the Blue Jays. Chris Bryant. They said that he's a damn near certainty to get traded. Oh, it just breaks my heart. My little heart is broken. Molina. Medina. You gotta mix those two back to back. At all times, I think. Sorry if I bumped the mic. I don't know if there's any headphones pe headphone people watching. But you wear headphones to my channel at your own risk. You never know when I'm going to hit that cowbell. I'm telling you right now, we pull like a, a 101 something super crazy. I'll wake everybody in the house up. Willie Mays! They'll think the house is burning down. <laughs> Willie Mays for the Giants. I do it for the people. You know what I mean? You guys know that. You think, you think Rizzo goes at deadline also? Oh, no. Be what they're saying is they want to sign Rizzo and Baez. Now, I think if they pay Baez, that's the dumbest thing they could do. He has a 302 career on base percentage. It's fucking terrible. That's so terrible. It's unbelievable. He just has this charisma that oozes out of him. I mean, if there was ever a person to be charismatic is all get out. It's 100% him. But he also has 17 errors this season. Everybody wants to say Baez is this great defender. No, he has the most insane quick twitch glove reflex ability it's ungodly. I've, I've never seen anyone have that ability. But it doesn't translate to many places on the field. So it's not that impactful of a, a feature to have. 
But when you use that tool, it makes highlight reels. And that's where people see it. They don't see it in the day in and day out shit. So bias for me is a fucking trade him and get everything you can get for bias. Because he's not... He's not going to hit 40 home runs. He's not going to hit more than 250. You know, it's just, there's things he's not going to do. And for what you're not going to get, you can't pay that guy 20 million plus a year. I'm sorry. He just, it, he ain't worth it. Yeah, Tatis has a cannon of an arm. So, like, while Ta uh, Bias has the quick glove, Bias, or, Jesus, Tatis has an absolute rocket. The dude can play two steps into the grass from shortstop and still make the throw to first with ease. Like he's, and he is just, the, the craziest thing about him, and I was literally about 15 feet from him outside of Wrigley Field, and I wasn't trying to get his autograph. My wife and I just stumbled past the team buses, and he was actually out signing autographs in Chicago for a few minutes, which I thought was very cool after the game. And uh, he's not a big person. His muscles aren't big. He's just wiry. So he's able to torque and twist and wind up on some things. Like, it's crazy how he can do what he does with the size that he is. Uh, Carpenter with the team name variation. But Baez is not the guy you pay. I am, uh, Rizzo, sure. I mean, you, you know what you're going to get from Rizzo. And who else is really doing that year in and year out? I, I I definitely would love to see Rizzo and Bryant stay. I, I, I My assumption, and this could be right or wrong, I would have to assume the Cubs think they're going to get Rizzo and Baez for the same price it would cost to keep Chris Bryant. I think that's what they think. And they could be right. And if that's the case, then maybe you have to do that. But, like I said all along, I mean, I've said this since spring training. Literally since spring training when we thought we were going to be terrible. And then for like two months they were okay. Uh, but we knew the pitching was just abysmal. We knew that. And then the offense fucking disappeared. So what do you want to play, pay these guys for anyway? Uh, but the other thing you can do, <laughs> and I don't know. It's happened before, but not with anybody's high profile as Chris Bryant. You trade him. Under, with the understanding that you're going to sign him back next year. Like in the offseason. Hey, we're not winning this year. Who do you want to play with next year? We'll trade you for him. Or the pros, you know, what prospects do you want? Who do you like? Who do you like coming up down the road? You know, that's... Man. I'm not saying a player should have that type of impact on your franchise, but... Like, hey, man, anybody stand out to you that you'd like to see? Maybe we can go get you for him and if you keep quiet about it, you know. We'll give you however much money you want in the off season. Just let us get something for you, too. And that's our way of uh, saying we're sorry for the whole service time thing. <laughs> you, know, you know, do something. Just trade him. I'm just, I just don't want to see him go. Daz Cameron, again, number to 199 for the Tigers. Did you just, I could have just missed him, Mattingly. It's very possible. I'm caught up in my Cubs feels right now. Was it in this box? Because, uh, I'm going to say no. Because that's a good number of cards. Chapman. Nope, nothing in this box yet. But like, a, if you're whoever's in the break, check your cards when you get them. Who knows if I missed something? If I did, my apologies. We have Jesus Sanchez.
or the Miami Marlins, another base autograph. Sanchez for the fish. Johnny has the fish. I want to sit. Yeah, but the Reds can hit, boy. They've been they've been hitting for years. As long as they've had Suarez, really. Like, Suarez is just a little gem. And now Winker, of all people. Nobody even cared about him. and He was a rookie in 17. Jesse Winker. Nobody cared about him then. That could be... That could be Aquino in a year or two. You know? The Reds could just keep piling it on with these big bats. And they have Castellanos. And, and Dan Moustakas, too, this year. The Reds, man. And the catchers that are hitting over there, man. Good for them. But fuck Votto. I just, I can't stand Votto. <laughs> the Braves told the Reds to hold my beer. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that. Trevor Story. This is a very, no? No, that's, it's a team name variation. Down, it's got the Rockies in that print. Trevor Story, that's an awesome hit. Trevor Story is so disrespected by the hobby. The dude's a stud. He's literally top three shortstop. I, I don't even want to debate it. I've been defending this guy forever. And the Rockies owner is a terrible human. And then they gave him the All-Star game. Jonathan Eastridge, congratulations, buddy. I love this. It's not numbered. But it's definitely... Or maybe just the veterans are like that. Because... Sanchez isn't like that, right there. Garcia, do we haven't? Did we hit any other veterans? None of them are like that. Phillies, yeah, none of them are like that. NBA Finals game is over. Who won? So that's interesting. It's not numbered, but it's definitely not the same as all the others. Usually when they have variations on the autos, they're all numbered. Trevor Story. Mike Trout, number to 99. You don't know where Brett learned about any Trout's a good Trout. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take the, the credit for that. I don't know if he'll give it to me, but I, I would definitely do that. Because I'm all about any non... But I say any non-base Trout is a good Trout. Really, any Trout's a good Trout. Mike Trout, number to 99. Johnny B with the Angels. There you go, sir. Johnny B got some of my nastiest, nastiest Mike Trout autos from Tribute this year. The Bucks. What is that? 3 2? Were, were they at home tonight? So, like, has the home team won every game so far? Is that how they do it in the NBA 2 3 2? For the format? It's over now. Well, good for Giannis. Sons and four, right? <laughs> Is that still a thing? Is it still Sons and four? <laughs> Stan Musial for the Cardinals. I got, I'm going slower than shit. The pick your team break earlier was only an hour and a half, yeah. We're at an hour. An hour right now. We're not even halfway done. There's a... Who is this? Drew Rasmussen. Missing nameplate. For the Brewers.
Uh, yeah, we got 12 total. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's nobody here. Uh, Daz Cameron. It's a Daz Cameron case with a team name variation. Marcus Semyon, Oakland. Jack Flaherty and Shun Yamaguchi. Like, if we pulled a Shun Yamaguchi auto, I would probably cry. It would be the worst conceivable veteran auto. Those are the veteran autos you usually get. Not the ones you actually want. Box number six. Past the halfway point. Right now. Ichiro Legend card for the Mariners. You're just saying that because he's Asian. It doesn't matter where the packs go. I'm going to have to pick them all up. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies, number 50. Chuck Nasty. Josh Bell. First and last serial numbers of Yamamoto. Well, they can't be expensive, I'll tell you that much. Yamabloto. He's so bad, I want to say somebody gave me like a first Bowman orange of him for free. <laughs> and I think I put it in like a freebie. As like a freebie in a repack. <laughs> Uh, Paredes, team name very. What's with all these tigers? No lions or bears, just tigers, and oh my. That's it. Let's go. The fire thing. Everybody says pool fire. I don't understand why. Why would you want to pool fire? Anybody think about why they say things? Why the, Why is that a saying? I get the, the reference, you know. This is weird to me. I just want to pull something awesome. Set it on fire. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to set it on fire. It was even, it was before 2020, yeah. Yeah, when he first got called up, Yamamoto was dominating for a few starts. Caprillion, orange. Or orange. What? Per Why would I even say, why am I talking about oranges? My wife pulled the fire the other night with that so I saw that soto. I'll just sit back for a minute. Do one of these. Oh. Alright. Let's get back to the break. Jose Barrios. Uh, Taro the Diamond. Lonzo. And it's Albert Abreu for the Yankees. So just another subpar rookie that nobody cares about. Oh. Ooh. Can we get more than like two good hits? Would that be a problem? That'd be okay. A 
the honest Medina. It literally, I don't, I don't like to say I have like OCD or twitches or anything like that, but I, the packs, refusing. To, there's like 20 packs on the floor right now. It drives me nuts. Just not that type of person to just throw packs on the floor, like some sort of animal. Like why would I not throw it in the garbage now? I don't want to pick it up later. <laughs> it just go in the can now. It's like a vacuum garbage can. That sucks the packs right in there. And it's a Davy Garcia purple. There he is. Second time tonight. Yankees box. 85 out of 150. Boo. Sorry. Sorry, Yankees. I'm booing that. Just want to hit something cool. Uh, Nico Horner missing nameplate. And chromes, 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 chromes. Stanton, Cabrera, and Goldschmidt. Number to 150. Four boxes left. Eight chances to pull something awesome. Yeah, these packs. So, okay, the packs they made in Mexico, too. I wonder... Man, I want to open a box of anything else right now. I wonder why Tops made these in Mexico. I just feel like that's new. Ty Cobb for the Tigers. So, were these cards actually manufactured in Mexico? Because they usually make everything in Texas. Which, I mean, it makes sense if they could do it that way. Because... Like, I just got this today. I was supposed to have it on Friday. But my distributor was late getting it to their Texas place to ship to their actual place of business. So it actually shipped direct to me from Texas. But when they do that, it takes way long for me to get it. Especially on the, the weekend. Shit. Forget about it. So I wonder, I wonder what's going on with that. Like, I'm just a very curious person. Is this the second Castellani black and white? See, that's so odd. Yeah, this is the second one in the same fucking case. That's like, unex it's so unacceptable to me. It's ridiculous. So there's only 50 of these cards in the entire product, and we got two of them in the same case. If it's... Hayes, we're not going to complain, but since it's Castellani, we're going to bitch our ass off. That's crazy. Don't, I don't understand how that even happens. Like, if Tops hit me up and said, hey, give up everything about breaking and just come do QC for us, <laughs> or like, help us pack shit better, I would probably stop breaking, because I feel like doing a disservice to most people most people enjoy the hobby through case breaks nowadays for better or for worse it's just how it is 
and they just can't pack cases properly. Like, there's so many possible options that duplicate things should not be so prevalent. Oh, Leone Tavares for the Rangers. Again, just my opinion. But it's crazy to me. That's just a crazy low-numbered parallel. It's hobby exclusive. And you're telling me they only made 50 cases, 49 cases, so they had to put two in one? <laughs> no, not at all. Not even close. I couldn't begin to tell you how many cases of this there are. But I bet it's a lot. That is Dane Dunning, former White Sox prospect. Going to Texas. It's been Rangers, Tigers, and Rockies. It seems like. With the occasional random autograph tossed in. Eleven o'clock hour. It is a new day on the East Coast. Happy uh, whatever the fuck day that would be. Wednesday to you over there. It's the clearly authentic release day. So there's uh, there's that. If you're looking for clearly authentic. Now there we go. A legend parallel. Each year on number 150. That's sweet. This is where it's at. Get the high number. Get the legend. Get the actual likable legend. And then you get a parallel of it. That's a good hit for Mariners. Just throw the damn thing. See what happens. See what happens. And then they had the Evan White er, auto from earlier. Chris, you're doing all right in this one. Machado. David Peterson, New York Metropolitans. Jeez Louise, man. Can we get any more snoozer autos? Snoozer party of autos. It's I, it's so not cool. I can't believe there's still 11 people watching. You guys must feel like you've stuck it out this long. Might as well continue to do so. For that, I applaud you. Giolito, number 75, 72 out of 75 for the White Sox. Dude, I'm using my left hand right now, and I'm making it work. My right thumb hurts. Another Trevor Story, and look, it's a standard. So that's very wild that they have a variation that's not even numbered. Because I really want to go look now. I'm sorry, i got to look to see if there's a print run or something on that other story. That's wild. And that's wild to hit two veterans like Trevor Story. I just want to see if Cardboard Connection says anything about it. Because that's super weird to me. I'll take that one. Yeah, me too. I love Trevor Story as a baseball player. A mask up. I have not seen a mask variation. They have a whole set of masked variations. Jesus. Nobody cares. I don't care. That doesn't make the baseball card cool. Yeah, they're wearing masks. Okay, every fucking buddy's wearing masks. Show me the bazooka backs. Jackie Robinson Day variation from Mount Castle. You can't even tell. Oh, yeah, actually you can't. It's just the smallest patches on the arms or the 42. Oh, yeah. Luis Roberts Jackie Robinson Day is bullshit. Sorry, we'll switch screens. Look at this. 
That's a 42. That's how you're supposed to tell. Maybe I should have wanted the Rockies. No joke. Casey Mize, same thing. It's a little harder to tell, but he does have, you can see the patch as well on the arm. But that's not even what I was looking for. I was trying to find a Gypsy Queen autograph. Okay, so it's like a mystery. So the Indigos would be number to 150. And then team script font swap is in between the 150 and the 99. So they are they are not numbered, but they didn't put them behind the indigo, which is very odd to me. Usually, if if the print run was, they put this in sequential order of print run usually. So I would assume, based off this information, that we're anywhere from number to 100 to number to 149, and that actually makes sense to me. For this one to be normal and not numbered, same with the other one. So the Rockies are just running away with it in the Trevor story department what's the case hit? I don't think this product has a case hit that's <laughs> that's funny I actually have a little YouTube video in one of my playlists on case hits if you have time after the break go watch it leave a comment on the video too I try to when people ask questions and things like that I try to record it and like answer the question and then put it on YouTube just for educational purposes Trevor story <laughs> The team, they, holy shit, this is so wild. They're so bad at packing cases. They're so bad. There's so much going on right now in the Trevor Story department. Uh, but I don't think there's a case hit, per se. What's my website say? What I put on here? It just tells you all the information. And all it tells you is what's in a box. So yeah, there's no case hit. It tells you the configuration, 10 boxes, 24 packs, 8 cards per pack. Two autographed cards, one GQ chrome box topper pack, seven inserts, and one base set short print in every box. They mention nothing on the actual case hit. And that's the thing, case hits are kind of a gimmick. And usually your case hit autograph is worth less than... Like anyone who's going to have a case hit auto generally has a base auto too. They're, if they're going to have a player sign for a product, they're going to have them sign for the the product and generally your case hit will be an insert auto and your insert auto is always going to be less than your base set auto i don't i don't agree with it at all but that's just like how it goes i don't think that that makes any real sense but that's just how it goes the packs are literally Flying out of the garbage can like they have propulsion systems built in. It's just maddening over here. Glad Soto value is going back up. Yeah, it's I I said if you were wanting to buy Soto's, you probably have already missed your window because he's on fire again right now. Bryce Harper, Gliber Torres, and a nice Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. I love that they still have that glass box topper look to them. Number to 150. If uh, John Carlos still here, we'll talk about Ryan Mountcastle for a minute. But if he's not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it be, because I hear he's heating up. <laughs> Three boxes left, friends. Pirates MVP Andrew McCutcheon missing nameplate for the Phils. Dick Heath for the Royals. Soto, there he is. 
And I really missed a boat too. I should have bought some more like super rare Soto stuff while uh, he was kind of getting overlooked. And then, you know, the second he stopped hitting home runs, people stopped paying attention. When he's on base percentage, it's still going to be 400 at the year's end. I mean, he's just the next level talent. He really is. Oh, this guy. I cannot even pronounce his name. For the Yankees, our third purple auto. The first case had no purple autos. Uh, Miguel, why? You know what I mean? I'm not that asshole that's going to just butcher a man's name. But I hate the Yankees. Sorry, Dave G. Not a Yankees guy. You and your evil empire can tell me how to say his name, and then we'll work on it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, the Yankees hitting pitchers all over the place tonight. Garcia with the team's font script thing, whatever they called it. It's not base. <laughs> it's not base. Bellinger, Hayes, Bodie, Rooker. Good grief. Is that four different Yankee pitchers we've hit? Are these things even worth top loaders? <laughs> oh my God. It's worse than doing a case of Bowman right now. With all the pitchers. So many pitchers happening. When did the MLB, PA, and, top, and the card people agree to have so many pitcher rookies right now? Holy shit. Yeah, they miss. I don't understand why they don't get a lot of those veterans. Like, DeGrom signed his ass off, and now he's amazing, and, like, he hasn't signed anything this year. But, like, Yelich used to sign a bunch, and he still signs, but you don't see him, and people never like Yelich when he was signing. Well, like, uh, there's people, though. I can't think of them. But there's people that could be signing. That aren't like Tatis doesn't even have an auto in this product, but he still signs and everything though, so it's not the end of the world really. Like Charlie Blackman, I can see some Contreras autos. They're out there, but they're not. You know, he stopped signing too, pretty much. It's like they only sign for like their first three, four years if they sign, and then that's it. Unless you're one of the top dudes, like Otani just signed an exclusive memorabilia deal with Fanatics. So he won't be signing any Tops memorabilia anymore. But that sucks too because that means Otani baseballs and jerseys and shit are going to be so expensive. Fanatics is so expensive. I don't know how there's... I mean, you know it's legit, but there's a million other places to sell legit stuff too. Fanatics is just fucking... For people that don't know any better, I feel like I feel like they're like the fast food joint of memorabilia. That's a terrible analogy though, because fast food joints usually aren't uh, very expensive. They're like fine dining for memorabilia. You know the food only costs ten dollars, but you pay a hundred dollars a plate anyway. Something like that. Estevan Florial for the Yankees. Yeah, dude, I want to do a bat rack. Sapia number to ninety nine. I need to. I need to start. I'm hoping Steel City does some bats soon, so I can buy some just for me. I'll bat. I'll break some bats for myself. <laughs> See what's up. If I don't like them, sell them. Whatever. I have a few cases of baseballs. We'll just sprinkle those in the mixers. I like doing it. It's cheap, too.
Bats? Bichette doesn't sign bats? Why not? Javi Baez keeps every home run bat he's ever hit a home run with. Like, there's no there's no game used Baez home run bat for the general public. He, he keeps them all. And it's every bit. Like, he doesn't use... Once he hits a home run with the bat, he takes it out and he keeps it. He won't even use it again, which I think is crazy. He won't even hit, like, two home runs with the same bat. Or, like, he'll change, he changes it the next day bat. He literally takes it out. Blackman, number 250 for the frickin' Rockies. That's so unbelievable. Why is this case not in Denver? Oh, my goodness. It's absurd. Absurd. Goldschmidt, Posey, Aaron Judge. For the Yanks, number 299. Well, friends, there's only two boxes left. You guys should pat yourselves on the back for sticking this out. <laughs> He'd have a million bats, dude. A million. I just think that's cool and weird at the same time. So you're going to keep 300 bats by the time your career is over or whatever, you know? You're just going to have 300 pieces of wood sitting around. Maybe that's his retirement plan. I don't know. Selling his old bat. Say, I hit this home run with that bat. I would think if you keep all your bats, you would catalog them in some way where you know every single home run. Like, you would have to be really into yourself or into your career. It's just fine. I have no th I'm not saying anything bad by that, but I feel like you'd have to have a lot of detail involved. Like, I April 2nd, home run. Eovaldi, number 199, for the Red Sox. I feel like it would have to be something you'd have to tell the equipment managers like hey tag this bat put it in my locker i'm taking it home <laughs> hey babe i got two more bats today oh that's my hobby always oh, hitting bombs evan white verlander perez clint frazier Shirt and Apostle. Yeah, he might have game used bets. At least a man, a veteran. And I like Gliver. The Yankees people hate him. He must be doing really bad. Talking about wanting to send them down, all sorts of shit. Now they like Sanchez again, I think. I, I, it's hard to keep up with the Yankees, people. What's wrong with any of these guys? Ooh, Gliver Torres. New York Yankees. They got 17 pitchers and now uh, a good position player, but I'm sure it's Hobby Valley. I'm sure it's like a $15 card, if that. I am slowing down. <laughs> slowing down. I can feel it. I can feel it. Boom. Cattell Marte, number 250 for the Diamondbacks. But I'm thinking I might need to try and get an Otani bat. Before they become really super expensive. Maybe I'll just do a wall. An entire wall of bats. Of just all the best players. <laughs> Look at this fucking scribble. What is this? Adonis Medina. I think maybe that's AD. I don't know. That's bad. That's some NFL 7th round undrafted shit. But, and it's a bazooka back. Good grief. 
So the coolest backs they put on all of baseball cards. I'm sorry, these are the coolest. I mean, I I have bazooka gum. We're sent out in repacks. I think that's so cool. Bazooka gum sucks. Big league chew bubble balls far superior. But this, oh my goodness, what a shame. It's a shame. Top should be like, hey, if you're putting that scribble, we're not putting it on a bazooka card. We're not doing it. It's terrible. They go through the effort to make an awesome card. Kelnick? What? Whoa, what is this? How? Wow. Whoa. Is this on the checklist? Is this his fa first pack pulled card? It says SP1 on the back. It's, it just it literally says SP-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it does say base short print SP-1. Are there any more? Is there an SP-2? There is no SP-2. So this is it. He is the only one. He's the only one. SP-1. That's badass. Seattle. Is that Carissa? Carissa. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to hit you up in the morning. Make sure you watch this. That's cool. I, I just, I'm like, wait, why is he in this pack? It's <laughs> literally why I said, what? <laughs> what are we doing here? 300 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> And that's a, that's a sell now thing. He got called back up, yeah? He's back? I don't follow the Mariners, really. Whoa, this card's jacked. I did not do that. Look at that. Setsugo. So, uh, raise when you get that one. Don't come... Uh, where are we at? A minute 32. 30. I need a Granderson one, too. He's the only, he's the only one with the SP title on the back. In the entire checklist, there's he's SP dash one. There's no two or none of that. Like his is base short print, short print. So he's like a super short print, is what it says. Because Ichiro is a base short print. Because all the high number guys are short prints. He's like a short print of a short print. <laughs> Oh, tops. Always confusing you. Because it literally, each year rows right above him. It says base short print. And then at Kelnick's next, it says base short print SP. Has he done anything good since he's been back? The dude is a real hype train. I mean, he was so good, he was traded as a prospect. As part of a trade, like, not an afterthought, like, former 15th overall pick Will Wilson, who was traded to the Giants to for cash, was given to the Giants because the Giants accepted Zach Cozart's nonsense. Oh, uh, he's probably just playing defense. <laughs> Old Joe Adele, I don't know. Cubby, big ninth. Yeah, what, are they still going to lose? <laughs> I'm so upset with the team has performed and has not performed, but I'm just incredibly disappointed with the front office. Number to 150, Daniel Johnson. There's no reason to cry money this and money that when you're the Chicago freaking Cubs. You bought your own TV network to alienate your fan base, your local fan base. So fuck them. I'll never pay for the marquee network. We literally got Hulu because they had the Marquee Network, and then Hulu dropped the Marquee Network, or the Marquee Network dropped Hulu or something. So I'm like, fuck it, I just bought a VPN. Mr. Ricky, short print. All right, hopefully I, hopefully I stack them all in the same pile. Tapia. Hey, Chisholm. Let's see here. Floriano. Oh, 
Man, you're good. Nothing gets past you, Dave. And a boy. Ricky Anderson for the Athletics. I don't know if we went through this pack or not. I think we did. We did. Just holding it till we solved our issue. No, they won. No way. They really won. That's awesome. That's awesome. Kimbrel, man. Kimbrel's just phenomenal right now. They need to trade him. If you're not going to compete, that's a guy you trade now while he's hot and you can get something for him. That's a trade I'm okay with. I don't like it. I don't like having to trade guys that are that good, but if you're not competing right now, he's not going to do it again next year. So go get it. Go get the bag for him. Because for two years previous to that, he's done nothing but underperform. Uh, Max, or I'm sorry, Justin Turner. Missing nameplate. Scherzer, Verlander, DeGrom. There's three tremendous starting pitchers. I wonder what Verlander's going to do when he comes back. How much more does Verlander have in his tank? I I wanted Kimbrel so bad when we got him. I was so happy. I said give him whatever he wants. That was the piece we needed for that team at that time. And then they signed him and he wasn't ready to play. Like, what do you mean you weren't ready to play? You just held out all spring training and shit because you wanted to get paid, which I'm okay with. I want people to get paid. Especially after you just won a World Series. And, uh... Then he, he shows up and he just sucks. Just sucks, sucks, sucks. And now he's doing what I wanted him to do since day one. He's been awesome. It's been awesome, man. It's been awesome to watch the ninth inning and not have to worry about what the hell's about to happen in the baseball game because you have somebody that can actually do the job. But, can't get it done, man. Alejandro Kirk, number 210. Red. Red for the Blue Jays, 7 out of 10. And it's still off center. So, number to 10 all you want. You can't grade it. <laughs> you can't grade it. Number to 10 all you want. It's still fucked. Sorry. Honest assessment. Cubs have no money, so we can't afford them. No, the Cubs have plenty. They have their own TV network. They have money. Anderson Tejada. Awesome. Good grief. Number to 150. I'm sorry you guys have to sleep through this with me. I can't find better hits in these packs. We should have one more auto. The Cubs pissed me off too. Obviously for different reasons at the moment, but yeah, yeah. I just, I don't like Ricketts, man. I don't like Ricketts. And again, I'm not political. You guys know that I try to stay as right down the middle as possible, but... There we go, Joe Adele. There's Joe Adele. Somebody's just asking about him. Chad Trent, that's what he's doing. He's right here with us. Johnny Baldwin, there you go, sir. And he finally has live autos. He didn't sign this with the 7, though, like he did in the, the last one where he had the live auto. So this is, uh, I, I don't know. Joe Adele's get, throwing different signatures out there when he actually shows up in the product. Um, But then Rick, it's like, for him to, like, how does... He was like Trump's biggest financial fundraiser guy. The Rick, like, dude, run your fucking baseball team. Why are you raising money for a businessman? Like, be a baseball owner. Do the politician shit another time or just keep it under wraps. Nobody wants to know that. I, I want you to, I want to know how you're improving our baseball team. I don't, I, I don't care that you're distracted by fundraising for something else no 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 no. make that team on the field better even in the offseason you can do it roger maris just uh, rubs me the wrong way and then it's like oh we made all this money we won the world series 
we renovated the stadium, which I'm also against all of that too. And uh, you renovated the stadium, so now you can just sit back and not have to spend any money and just collect it all. TV network, all this bullshit. And not have to put a product on the field because it's Chicago. It's the Cubs. The name is huge and it will sell itself. All that Yankees legend stuff's always worth money. Like, we pulled some Mickey Mantles in something tribute, maybe? Why don't we just pull Mickey Mantles in? That was like big time. Stadium Club is Stadium Club. Pulled Chrome Refractor, Mickey Mantles, and shit like that. Surprising. I mean, not surprising just because you don't see those guys in every release. But, like, still big money. Garrett Crochet missing nameplate for the White Sox. The Yankees dude is not watching, dude. He's a local dude and has, uh, his daughter's having surgery in the morning. That's what I know. Acuna, we have Walker Bueller, Hayes, and, what was that, Bodie? David Bodie? Bogarts for the Red Sox, number to 250. This is one of the best shortstops in baseball. Jay Hay with the team variation name thing. The different font. For the Cubs. Yeah, I can ask him. I'll text him. I really don't want to bother him tomorrow. At some point I will later in the day. Surgery is not fun even for the parents. My little one had a surgery. It was an outpatient minor thing and I was still a mess. <laughs> Dalton Varshaw for the Diamondbacks. So did we get an extra? We got an extra auto in that box. I think we did. So that's nice at least. And it's the... Again, not numbered, but it's got the name variation. You could go hunt those on eBay, I bet. People might not even realize it. Probably buy them as base. People think they're base. Go hunt. Go hunt your autos, friends. Go find the ones with the cursive writing. They're worth more. Whether people know it or not. I'm telling you right now they are. Because they're not standard. There's seven on YouTube now and six on Facebook. Look at that. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, turn on notifications, all of that stuff. So you never miss any time I go live here at Underground. I do, however, usually do not go live this late at night anymore. I still have things to do before I can go to bed. I hate being an adult. I'm like looking forward to going to bed. Who who does that? What's wrong with me? Ali Sanchez. Last pack before the chromes. I'm going to ice my right phone tonight, too. Carlson, Dahlbeck, Frazier, Soto. And see, this is just a cool shot. This is the stuff I like. World Series Champions patch on his sleeve. I just, I like the content of the card. That's what's cool to me. That's my favorite base Juan Soto card. So if all the base Juan Soto cards are the same price, I'm buying that one every time. Joe Adele, Madrigal, and nice Dylan Carlson. That's the goofiest picture of Dylan Carlson's face I've ever seen. It's like almost scary. The camera could have not screwed him over any worse for the shot. His face just looks odd-shaped there. Carlson. 
And a couple of other rookies here. Manager Golf for the White Sox. And Mr. Adele for the Angels. And with that, friends, it is time to wrap up this evening. Thank you guys very much. Uh, Dave G, I hope you had a good time, buddy. I probably would not have done this tonight if it wasn't uh, your birthday time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I would have done it anyway. Uh, what is this, 3.93? It is. I apologize. Sorry. Recap time. Carlson Chrome, number 150. Varshaw with the uh, team name variation autograph. Joe Adele for the Angels. Anderson Tejada, number 2150 for the Rangers. Alejandro Kirk, number 10 for the Blue Jays. Kelnick, uh, base short print dash SP. Whatever that means. Adonis Scribbledina. Bazooka back, number 25. Gliber Torres for the Yankees. We had Judge, number 150 for the Yankees. Blackman, number 50. Estevan Florial, rookie, number 99. Clark Schmidt. Uh, Miguel. Why? Number 150. I'm so sick of that dude, too. He's everywhere. And it's. Oh, the Yankees suck. The Yankees suck. Sorry, I said it. Mountcastle. Number 150. Trevor Story, uh, base auto for the Rockies. Giolito, number 75. David Peterson for the Mets. Ichiro, uh, short print, parallel, number to 150. Uh, Leody Tavares, Davey Garcia, number to 150, purple, parallel. Albert Abreu for the Yankees. We had uh, Blackman, number to 50. Did we already? Did I already? We had two Blackmans, number to 50. I didn't catch that. So we had four Rocky black and whites. So we had two Blackmans and we had the two Castellanis that are coming up. Daz Cameron, number to 199. Mike Trout, number 299. Trevor Story with the font variation there. Uh, Sanchez for the Fish. Mondesi, number to 75. Thomas Hatch, number to 150 for the Blue Jays. Uh, Jonathan Arroz for the Red Sox, number to 150. Garcia, base. David Peterson, number to 99. Anderson Tejada, base. Dustin May, number to 50. Key Brian Hayes, autograph for the uh, Pirates. It's too late for the Cowbell. Nate Pearson. That's it. That's all you get. Number to 150. We've got a break during business hours. You want Cowbells, baby. Let's go. Evan White for the Mariners. Daz Cameron, number to 250. And Brent Rooker for the Minnesota Twins. Castellani twice, number to 50 in the same case. That's, that's fucking ridiculous. I'm just... I'm just saying. That's just absurd. Max Muncy, number 99. There's 300 base cards in the product. We couldn't get some different ones for some different people. Uh, Jordan Weems for the Athletics. Garrett Cole, Chrome Topper, number 50. Marshan for the Phillies. Jimenez Mini, number 99 for the Mets. Arias, number 99. And Trevor Bauer, number 250. That's the break, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great evening. We'll do one more pick your team of this tomorrow. And then we have clearly authentic to dig into as well. So thank you guys. Have a great night. I can't even get through it. We'll see you in the